Hi, this is Dennis Gage. Thanks for tuning in to My Classic Car, home of the Certified Car Nut. This week we're in the great Pacific Northwest in Ocean Park, Washington for the 19th annual Rod Run to the End of the World. There are over a thousand of the best rods and customs this part of the country has to offer here today. Couple that with a great setting and loads of activities and you have all the ingredients for a really good time. Joining me now is Jerry Benning to fill me in on all the details. Jerry, Hi, how are you doing? Oh, just great. Glad to have you aboard. Great to be here. Now, you're the, the president of the club that does this, right? For the next two years. Yes, <laughs> I am. And what's the club's name? It's the uh, Beach Barons Car Club, and we're located here in Ocean Park, Washington. And you've uh, been doing this for 19, 19 years. years. <laughs> yes, sir. 19 years. And it's really grown to be quite, a, quite an event. Our first show is 61 cars, and it's grown to as high as 1,500. And today you're in a new location, right? So this, what you... is, this is the third year for this field. Okay. And, but we've actually we're opening up more field all the time, and it's getting a little bigger, and we're real happy with the development of it. Now you guys actually own this place. Oh yeah, we own the ground. That's pretty unique. That is unique. Why'd you do that? We just kept running out of places people would let us have one. We just got too big, so we just decided to buy our own. And, and we weren't able to develop it and, and improve the venue for the people that come to the show on other people's property. So we bought our own property so we could try to improve the show every year. That's great. Now, you guys do so much for the participants. I mean, you guys are cooking your... Oh, yeah, we put on a, we put on a great... Great feed for them on Sunday. We feed them tuna and salmon and corn on the cob and, and oysters and shrimp, and we just put on a great feed for them. It's a, it's a $40 pre-registration, and for that you get breakfast and you get lunch, and we feed you one heck of a good dinner. Well, and you, and you, you get to see some great, and great cars. you see cars. the best cars the Pacific Northwest has to show off. And, in, and the peninsula itself is just such a unique place. Yeah, 28 miles of, of, of driving sand and, and tourism, a lot of things to do down here other than just look at cars. I'm having a great time. Looks like the weather's going to be good today. Oh, it's going to be good. It'll, it'll clear off. It'll even prettier. So, you know, you like these rat rods. You got, you sure got, a, got a favorite around I here? I got a couple favorites. You want to go take uh, a look? Show me these rat All rods. Right. <laughs> The Beach Barons Car Club really has a sweet setup. Frustrated by trying to find venues for their ever-growing event, they bought their own piece of land. So basically, the Beach Barons invite you to their backyard for a Pacific Northwest good time. Oh yes, did I mention the incredible rods and customs that also show up? Wayne, this is cool. A 40 Nash Lafayette. I don't think I've ever even seen one. Well, I don't believe you're going to see one either, Dennis. They only made uh, 50 of them, and there's only four left that we can find. This is gorgeous. Did you build it? Uh, from the ground up. It was, uh, it was pretty much a basket case when I found the car. Uh, brought it home in pieces, and four years later, this is uh, what I ended up with. Oh, it's go I love the interior, too, man. You, you flamed the dash and about everything else I could put flames <laughs> And the top is, is really nice. Was I mean, did you have all the parts for that? Or? I had no parts at all. This is a 39 Mercury top. Uh, we took a 39 Mercury top and bent and twisted and pried and got it to work, and it seems to work quite well. well it looks like it was made for it, but, but, but I, I guess it was. <laughs> I suppose so, yeah, just yeah. yeah. Well, what do you have power in this? this? Well, it, Nash. This is a uh, ZZ4 crate motor with a 700 R4 wow. transmission. Nicely polished. Thank you. Thank That's you. a mirror bag. It looks like you got two engines. It's a V16 <laughs> That's Chevy. Very, very nice. <laughs> You've even flamed the under the hood and the sides. You, you are into flames, aren't you? I, I like flames. Yeah. So you, you've I just recently got it built, and do you drive it? Uh, yeah, I've, I've been on the road now about uh, 10 months and I've got about 2,000 miles on it, That's so I'm great. not afraid to put it on the highway. Excellent. So you having fun at this show? This is a beautiful show. Isn't it I, fantastic? I, I'm having a great time. Well, thanks for bringing it out, Wayne. Well, this you're is a welcome. gorgeous Thank and you. very rare car. Very cool. Thank you. Flame on. <laughs> you needed sunglasses to gaze at this neon green rod. It's a 33 Ford Coupe that has undergone a fantastic transformation. I couldn't believe the upholstery theme that was carried all the way through to the battery cover, even the fire extinguisher. Awesome. Hey, check out this little, um, gem. Oh, this is great. You know, we were just talking about rat rods. That This would kind of constitute a yeah, rat rod. Yeah, I think this is pretty much the ultimate rat rod. The ultimate rat <laughs> But you know, you all look like you're having fun. Yeah. I mean, you look, you know, out cruising, having a good time. 
Yeah, having a great time. So what do, what do we have here? That's a 28 Ford Phaeton with a 48 Cad Cadillac flathead motor in it. A flathead caddy engine? Right. I see it, it is a show vehicle though. Yeah. Yeah, we took it to uh, the Americruise last year in Nebraska. You, you drove this to Americruise? Right. Put about 4,500 miles on it. And, uh, <laughs> I bet that was a hit. Yeah, we only got rained on once, but. <laughs> well, I don't, I don't imagine it holds water too well, actually. No, it doesn't. It didn't fill up. I thought it was going <laughs> to. So, so can you fire it up for me? I mean, this thing, it looks yeah, great. Yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just blow a little dust around. Yeah, but it's got a great sound to it. You've got to love it. It even sounds, you know, it even sounds ratty. Yeah, it, sound, it sounds pretty good. Put baffles in it recently and it sounded a lot louder before that. <laughs> I've known John Moss for years, and he's been after me to come to Detroit for a tour of GM's Special Vehicles collection. But when I arrived, I was completely blown away by the sheer size and scope of this collection. Today I'm with John Moss, who's the manager of GM Special Vehicles. John, great to see you again. And good to see you again. Welcome. Oh, great to be here. And we've been promised a rare look inside the GM Special Vehicle archives. This is going to be this is going to be great, John. <laughs> hey, I'm surrounded here with some pretty cool vehicles to begin with. Even this is, I believe, your oldest, isn't it? This is one of the oldest uh, in our collection, uh, Dennis. And this is a 1903 Pirates, what they call it. And what's so significant about this vehicle, and uh, is that this set the land speed record in 1903 at a romping 54 miles an hour Ooh, wow. with a one-cylinder, six-horsepower <laughs> motor. And so this was not a production vehicle. This was a this was a development. Test it was a purposely built uh, engine just to see what they could do. Could they get what kind of speed they could get out of out of a motorized vehicle in that era, without the horse? <laughs> without <laughs> how many horsepower without the horse? Yeah. Pretty primitive, but but land speed record holder. Correct. Now a production vehicle though, and a very very rare one. Over there is the 32 Olds. That is just gorgeous. Well, Dennis, that's one of my favorites in the in the collection. It's a 32 uh, Oldsmobile. And what makes it so neat, because I'm a hot rodder and I love the, the shape and, and everything of it, of the basic hot rod era. But what's so really unique about that vehicle is it's such a it's rarity. We've had auto historians in here, they've seen this car and literally stop in their tracks because as far as we know, it could be the only one in existence today. Certainly the only one I've ever seen. And then we've got the, the Indy Aurora engine powering all the IRL cars. Correct. Say, to this, what are we looking at, about a 1912 old 1912 uh, touring car. Uh, again, this is a, a very, very rare car, and again, it's, far, big. it's, yeah, very, it's big. very big. It's not the biggest one we have, though, but it's very mm -hmm. rare. Uh, this, is, from our recollection and through going through the history, this is the only in one piece uh, car of this era, uh, a 1912 Oldsmobile in existence. It's and, the only one, and perfectly restored. Very cool, and you know, nice, nice cars. But I gotta believe there's more. Well, Dennis, I'll tell you what. If you're good, let's take a walk. I'm very good, really. <laughs> honest, I am. <laughs> John, oh man, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Well, Dennis, here we are in only one of several warehouses, and believe me, you're only scratching the surface. There's more. There's more. There's much more. How many are in here, though? Well, about 150 to 200 vehicles right now. And, and I, I'm, I'm looking at everything. I mean, I, I don't even know. I don't know where to start. I, Let's start with well, what's close. Right, what about right here? What, a GMC panel truck? Yeah, it's a 1951 GMC, they call it a Canopy Express Market Edition. Oh. You've heard of the, you know, you, you've heard of the uh, conversion vans. Well, this was a panel van that was converted into a market carrying vehicle. When I'm saying market, the farmers would put their goods in this thing, bring it into town to sell it from the truck. Scale in the back, even. Scale in the back, all ready to go. And, and it came, you could buy it this way, you, eh? You buy it this way, right Incredible. from your local dealer. Wait, now, now this looks like some serious muscle here, though. Well, this is this is traditional, modern-day, heavy-duty performance. In-your-face performance. Right, in-your-face. This is what's unique about this vehicle. Let me show you here. Uh, this is an experimentation with our all-new uh, aluminum 427 small block Ooh. V8 motor, fuel-injected, running about 700 horsepower. Welcome back to My Classic Car and more of the incredible GM Special Vehicles Collection. 
Nice old Chev here. Yeah, 1929, a very interesting story about this. This is one of the cars we found in the warehouse. We didn't even know we had it. <laughs> and next to it, we've got a, uh, what is it, 30? No, it's a 1940 Pontiac. 40 Pontiac, right? okay. 40 Pontiac. What's unique about this vehicle, this was the first use of a hydromatic transmission. Oh, wow. And in great looking shape too. Oh yeah, it's a beautiful car. I like the two-tone blue. Boy, this is a nice, uh, this is a nice old truck. Yeah, it's a 56. Look at look at the curve. Oh, I it love that. It was basically that. a takeoff of the Cameo, but it's got the sports side box and it sports a 283 V8. Wow. Now, now it was more common to see a six in those, but. Uh, right, very rare to see the V8. Boy, and it's just beautiful. And there's some metal in these. Oh it? yeah, real metal. And speaking of trucks, this oh, looks yeah. tough. Right, you go you go from one extreme to the next, you know. And this truck, uh, you might see a version of that very soon in your dealer showroom. This is the SS uh, vehicle that we did, uh, Silverado, we did uh, about a year ago. And what's unique about this, this is an engineering almost feat because what we've got underneath this sheet metal is uh, the full C5 Corvette running gear from engine, transmission in the back, independent rear suspension, 20-inch wheels. Oh. I mean, this is a phenomenal engineering feat. Oh, man. Now it also looks it looks like the the box and the body are all all old. one piece. Oh man. So fantastic lines. Stay tuned to your Chevy dealer. Oh <laughs> <laughs> might have to have one of these. <laughs> and what a stunning fiesta here. Very, very rare car. And right now these are selling for way in excess of hundred thousand dollars because of their rarity. You know, we're really pleased to have uh, such a beautiful car. It is gorgeous. And it is massive. I oh. I'd forgotten old made one that big. Next to it is a uh, 57, right? 57, old 88. Another, what's unique about that is look at the use of chrome and you remember the plastic seats you used to get right from the manufacturer's yep. original sh seat covers on here. So this is another just truly gorgeous example. You got some tough trucks here too. This one looks pretty stout. Oh, this is, we finished this about two years ago and what was really unique about this uh, vehicle, one, we're constantly experimenting as you realize how how important the truck industry is getting and mm -hmm. now the, the, you're constantly looking at the various magazines where they're talking about sport trucks and performance trucks. Remember they had the drag race series Absolutely. a couple years ago with the yeah. NHRA. This is a very, very unique truck for the fact that uh, we're constantly also looking at different ways we can use our current powertrain and what you know examples we can produce uh, to increase the horsepower. Now let me show you the engine in this thing. This is pretty spectacular. Uh, this is our, our current uh, 8100 motor that you see, the big block. Oh. But we've redone the heads and a few other little uh, trick things to put out 630 horsepower. This is 630 horsepower all-wheel all wheel drive. drive. Correct. Unbelievable. Uh, now that would hook up. Oh yes, like now. <laughs> John, this has just been simply unbelievable. Well, I told you you couldn't expect it. Now you are going to come back. You promised now. If you'll have me back, I'm back. You've got a deal, Dennis. I'm glad to have you here. Oh, thanks, John. Now, do all these cars run? They certainly do. How'd you like to take this one for a this spin? This one runs? This oh, one runs. Keys? There you go. All right. Keys, let's go. Oh, yeah. There we go. Feeling. Away we go. Raw power, let's go. 